So guys, a warm welcome to you. Once again, I am here to come up with a new part that is magnetic materials. Here we will categorize certain materials on the basis of when these materials on the basis of behavior, basically on the basis of behavior, when these materials are being placed in the magnetic field. For the detailed discussions, let's proceed. Now guys, magnetic materials. So now what we are going to do, we will compare our diamagnetic, paramagnetic and ferromagnetic materials. These are the magnetic, different magnetic materials. Diamagnetic, paramagnetic, uh, paramagnetic and ferromagnetic. So these materials we will going to study, we will compare these two, the, three. So what we are going to see that dia, if you talk about the diamagnetic, a diamagnetic substance are those substances which are feeble, feebly repelled by a magnet and a paramagnetic substances are those substances which are feebly attracted by the magnet means very uh, fe uh, means feebly attracted okay if we if we check out the examples for the diamagnetic is antimony bismuth copper gold so these are the different materials and if we talk about the paramagnetic, these are aluminium, chromium, alkalis and alkaline earth materials and etc. Now if we look at the ferromagnetic material, ferromagnetic materials are the substances which are strongly attracted, not feebly. So we, we have seen that in paramagnetic it is strongly attracted, uh, in paramagnetic it was feebly attracted, in, in this thing it is strongly attracted. So iron, cobalt, nickel, uh, gadolinium, uh, so these are the different ferromagnetic materials. Now look, let's proceed. Now if we, if we proceed, that is, now when the, when the diamagnetic material is placed in the magnetic field, the line of force tends to avoid the substance. Now if we check out for the ferroma, uh, paramag paramagnetic materials, the line of force preferred to pass through the substance rather than air. And in so this is somewhat like this. So if it is being uh, if a diamagnetic material is placed something like this, so it, it becomes something like this. And if a paramagnetic material is placed in the magnetic field, so it tries to go go through the material. Now if we talk about the ferromagnetic material, so in ferromagnetic materials, all the lines try to pass through this. So the line of force tend to crowd into the specimen. Now, when placed in a non-magnetic field, it moves from stronger to weaker field because of its repulsion. It, and when placed in the non-magnetic field, it moves from, that is, this is the paramagnetic, it moves from weaker to stronger field because there is a feeble attraction. Now, if we talk about the ferromagnetic material, when placed in a non-magnetic field, it moves from weaker to stronger field. This is because it has a strong attraction. Now if we check out the next